We're also gonna we're gonna do bleach trays like too. Ooh, so we're gonna make your bleach trays in order to get those bleach trays. We're gonna take your impression. Uh, uh, are you allergic to anything? No. Three top, two, two for, the for the bottom. And we're talking about powder scoops. Two scoops for the bottom. Get your powder out first so I don't cross contaminate my jar. If you do three scoops of powder, it's three levels of water. Make sure your water is freezing. Um, I, I'm, first thing I'm going to do is try in my tray. Miss Raven has a pretty good mouth to take impressions on. If you're going to take impressions on her, it's pretty. Nice to take it on. Um, let me fix your headdress real quick. Right? You need like four of them. Only two. Just do two. I'll put you Do that. Okay, put your headdress on. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to try in my tray. What I'm looking for when I try this in, if this is my last tooth, I'm looking for space on my tray to capture the tuberosity on the top. So if my finger is the last tooth, that's how far back you want to be. Okay, so I'm going to try my tray in first. All right, I got enough room there. It's getting stuck. Hey, you want to take a drink? I'm giving her a drink of water because her lips are getting sticky against my tray. I want to make it comfortable for her to go in and out. So I'm just making it wet inside there. Okay. I'm trying the lower one. I think we're back there. Looks good. Okay. Got my two trays. Got my Mac Larry. Got my mandibular tray. All right. So I got my three scoops of powder. I 
I like to create a little reservoir for my water. Only reason why I put it in the center is so I can incorporate the powder and the liquid faster. So this is just what I do. I guarantee if you ask any Miss Rowe or Miss Meekins to show you something, they'll probably do it way different. I do it this way because I like things to work fast because I'm also working with fast set. So I'm creating a reservoir to put my water. I'm gonna mix my alginate as fast as I can and I'm gonna use my bowl to make my material smooth. So I'm rotating my bowl and I'm smashing at the same time, getting all those lumps out of there. Okay, remember I said I only have 30 seconds to mix, so I'm about good and smooth. When you load your tray, you should load from the back each time. I got my tray. I'm going to make my material smooth again on top. Creating some valleys for my teeth. And moving my material to the anterior portion of the tray. So you see how it's falling off in the front. I'm also going to insert my tray sideways to retract that other cheek. Go into the mouth and put my distal in first. Then I put my mesial or my anterior. And I'm going to hold my patient's lip and move her head down so it doesn't slide back down her throat. You probably already did. And I'm going to wait there until material gets firm. Sorry, my smash a little cute. Oh, will you, uh, yeah. You're looking about the lake like, ball oh. Kelsey, can you get her a can napkin, please? Napkin, please? She's about to make a pond. <laughs> Again, I'm putting my hands back in my patient's mouth because I don't trust my patient that I'm going to get a good uh, impression. My patient will have their tongue touch it, their teeth move and do all that. So I'm not going to trust them that my impression is going to be very good. So I'm going to hold them put my fingers in their mouth and just basically hold my impression to them. They're like, okay, this is has to be done. We technically can walk away at this point, but I, again, don't trust my patient. I don't like to do things twice. And this is why I stay with my patient all the time. If those of you that are taking your impression and walking away and you're taking another impression, that's why we're running out of material because you can't walk away. You shouldn't trust your patient. They're going to remove it. If it feels uncomfortable, they're going to fix it, whether you like it or not. So you are going to be in control of your appointment, and this is how you do that, okay? Stay with them. Testing along the way. We are firm. All right, go ahead and put your head back. A little bit of pressure. I'm just going to wiggle my impression tray to break the suction. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, gonna evaluate. So I want, I'm back behind here on my tuberosity. I have area there. Here I don't. I could have extended my tray a little bit bigger. This is a size, what, three? I could go to a size two because this looks like it could be a little small. This back portion here, I don't have any tuberosity. See where, see where it's flat there and it's not flat there? So I missed it on that side. So that would technically be wrong. Then we have the vestibule roll. Here I'm missing a little bit as well. I do have a maxillary frenum. I do have my lateral frenums. Everything else looks good except I don't have my tuberosity. I can create that by extending my tray just a little bit or widening my tray. So you want to evaluate that. This looks pretty good. So I'm going to actually pour this up. Even though I'm missing a little bit of areas, it still looks good. I can still send this in if I needed a denture or if I needed a partial, things like that. So I can utilize it for that. This is also just for bleach trays. So I just need the coronial portion of the teeth. I got that in here as well, okay? So I'm gonna keep it. 
First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse it off, get some of that saliva off of there. Then I'm going to spray my freshly run away. And then I'm going to put some water, paper towels on it to save it until I'm ready to pour that up. My next one is my mandible. You want some more water? No, I'm okay. Remember, I'm the assistant that likes a clean bowl when I mix because I know any debris in my bowl will mess up my impression. So I, run, I make sure I have a clean bowl. I already put out my two scoops of powder in the cup. Two scoops, two lines of water. Make sure your water's cold. If the water's warm, it sets up faster. All right, I create my little reservoir again. Incorporate my powder and liquid, and then now I gotta smash my alginate, turn my bowl. When I load this guy, I load from the lingual or inside the U, and then I drag it across. Again, load from the other side, and drag it over there. I'm going to make sure it's smooth before I put it in my patient's mouth, pulling material to the anterior. And going sideways, I'm putting my distal in first. Now I'm going to hold my patient's lip and my tray. Again, I'm holding because I don't trust my patient. My patient can lift it up, move it around, can take alginate apart from my tray, tear it, so I'm not going to allow her to do that so I can feel it. Because every time she moves her tongue, I'll be like, don't move your tongue. Keep still. Just relax. And just reassure her that she, everything's okay. She's doing fine. She's falling asleep. A little bit longer, about 30 seconds. We're already getting firm. As you can see, my other hand is holding underneath the chin because my pressure of my, my hand can put weight on the TMJ or open the chin or the jaw more. So I, I'm trying to just supo help support what I'm pressing. So that's why my hand is underneath. All right, so I'm gonna adjust again and I'm gonna wiggle my tray and break the suction. Looks pretty good. Again, evaluate. Make sure it's back there. This guy again, he could have increased. I'll show you. See how this goes right up to the last two? At that point, that would make it bad. So I should increase the length of this guy. I may not get a bigger tray, but we want to increase the length to go back further. We can add wax there. To go back so we were back so technically this would again be a wrong one but everything else is captured we'll accept it okay 
You want to make sure you get back of that distal, that last two. On that Russian roller cut on the bottom, spray my impression. service clean up your patient make sure she looks good <laughs> like she walked in i'm gonna look underneath your chin because i am a messy one hey okay. before different. i touch my trays touch your face take her bib off i'm gonna take the trash from her please dust yourself off when you get out and we'll schedule your next appointment the next appointment for this would be delivery of our impression tray. And then we would clean up. 